As more electric cars and buses hit the road, more chargers will be yes. needed. Yep, and local manufacturers and elected officials actually are highlighting the importance of these electric vehicles in North Carolina. CBS 17's Gilad Malamed is live for us tonight in Wendell, where some of those chargers are actually made. Gilad. Yeah, and this is one of the chargers made here at Siemens. Congresswoman Deborah Ross and Governor Roy Cooper were here today highlighting just how important these electric vehicle chargers are when it comes to making a greener state. We're transitioning to a cleaner energy future. One transition is the move to more electric vehicles and ramping up the number of charging stations to support them, like these manufactured at Siemens e Mobility Manufacturing Hub in Wendell. We have to build that 21st century infrastructure. According to numbers from the state, transportation contributed to almost 36% of North Carolina's greenhouse gas emissions. Governor Roy Cooper says electric buses. It's a real investment in the future. Of our state. Go Raleigh has five electric buses out of about 105. Siemens made and installed the charging units. So I'm excited uh, when I see charging stations being made here on the floor of Siemens. Uh, and we're going to be using those and deploying those all across North Carolina when we put our charging infrastructure in. Go Raleigh currently has six of these charging dispensers. It takes about four to six hours for them to fully charge up. Gil Johnson, a consultant for Go Raleigh, says the buses are usually half charged at the end of the day. Uh, it's different than an, an EV, an electric vehicle, uh, in that you've really got a, a lot more battery and a lot more charging that has to be done. He says the goal over the next decade is to have 25% of the fleet be electric and 75% be compressed natural gas. They're much cleaner to run, they're much quieter. Johnson says there will soon be 14 charging dispensers. Siemens says the facility added 100 jobs over the past two years and expects to add 50 next year. Live in Wendell, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you very much. Appreciate it.